Hello, I'm Grady X. Walker. The only true reality is consciousness. I was amazed many years ago when I discovered that, and I could never figure out why things were happening in my life. And uh, I began to understand in life, like I hope that you're doing today, or that you will attempt to do in the future, is to begin to use your wonderful human imagination with thought and belief to create the world that you would like to. One thing that I learned that's so exciting is to pray as if your prayer has already been answered and then give thanks before it happens. Now, of course, you want to keep the faith and keep your mind in the direction because you've sown a seed into the universal mind. Whatever that seed may be, it may be for a prayer for your health. It may be a prayer for someone else's health and well-being. It may be to restore a marriage or relationship healing, or it may be just for financial blessings, abundance in life. And the key is this, is to stand fast after you pray. Keep your mind in that direction, then begin to just act like it's already happened. Begin to see your wish fulfilled. And after your prayer, just say thank you. One of the most beautiful closing prayers that I've learned in my life is to simply seal this prayer in truth and in faith and trust. Amen. In the Aramaic, it's akalam, amen, amen. It is done. It is finished. Now remember, the energy field of creation is not functioning on linear time. So it may not happen instantaneously. It may be 24 to 36 hours. But before you know it, your prayer is going to come true. And you're going to say, wow, I can't believe it. It actually happened. And then you'll become adjusted and used to thinking in that manner. Many people believe that if they contract a virus or a bad coal or a germ of some type, that they picked it up from someone else. And I think a lot of people think that way. But I do believe this that consciousness creates reality. And I believe in the case of coronavirus, COVID-19, that if that were true, everybody on the planet would be sick. And that's just not true. So I believe a lot of it is simply our outer world reflecting the way we see things with inside of us. Somewhere down the road, your conscious or unconscious mind has created this. So you can easily change your beliefs, though, simply by developing a new way of thinking and new habits. What I love to do is at night, when I go to bed, I turn the lights off and I begin to meditate. And I slow down those brain waves. And then I begin to use my imagination to create the following day for myself. I go over it detail by detail in my mind. And then... I've become to feel as if that has already happened. And I began to give thanks and gratitude for already receiving, even though the five senses have not yet registered it. But if you can, use your five senses along with your feeling prayer. See it as if it's already happened. If you can hear the sounds of it, if you can smell it, taste it, or touch it, whatever it is, Utilize your senses and then let your prayer be through, not of. Many years ago, I entered into the martial arts when I was 16, and I stayed with it for many years, still do it as a way of life for myself, but not on the amateur competitive level. I left that in 2019. But I remember when I was 16 and I started in the martial arts, and my instructors held a board. Uh, one inch sheltering pine 12 by 12 board and said break it well i reared back and i hit the board and my hand just ricocheted off of it and it hurt then the instructor held the board back up and said grady focus right in the middle of the board and then see yourself already through the board and out the other side feel the feeling and sure enough i hit the board went right through the board it broke the board and I was in awe of what had just happened. So I want to invite you to let your prayers be one 
of believing and seeing that what you prayed for has already happened and then give thanks and gratitude before you receive it. It's the elevated heart emotions of love, gratitude, thanksgiving, joy, happiness, and just the love of life that moves the quantum field. And that's the field that creates all matter. Thank you so much for joining me.